Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video I have what is this? Is this a review video? Hmm. Yes, it's kind of a review video. But what I have today is a cheap multimeter, right? And I'm going to tell you if it is worth it to buy this cheap multimeter or you should just spend your money and buy a more expensive multimeter. So a little background, right? So I bought this multimeter when I was just starting out in about um, 2017 and I just wanted some tools, right? Some cheap tools to get me started. So when I bought this, I bought this multimeter for $6.91. Yep. It's very cheap compared to some of the others that I've bought since. And when I bought this, the name of it was Nico 405-08830D Multimeter. And I went and did some check and I realized that the name for the same multimeter is now Iltex 40508 Digital Multimeter. Um, at the time I bought it, I, um, Amazon was the seller, but now the seller is Nico, but they have the name as Iltex. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of confusion. I uh, see a little code on it right here. It says DT. 830B uh, yeah that's about it so is it worth it to buy this multimeter um, if you're an electrician right this multimeter is definitely not for you it is it is too fragile it is too simple but if you're a regular homeowner who wants to carry out checks to Make um, if you're a regular homeowner, you want to measure DC current, or you want to measure DC voltage, or even AC voltage in your home, uh, it can also measure resistance, and I think it can carry out diode checks as well. So if you want to do that as a regular homeowner, yes, this digital multimeter is for you. But as an electrician or electrical contractor, or if you do electrical work for a living, this multimeter is not for you. Um, it still works. It still works from those time. But the the what is this called? The terminal. That's the correct word. Terminal. Yeah, I think that's the correct word. Those are those were so fragile that they burst and stuff like that. So it's still there. I don't use it. So it, I still carry it around in my bag, uh, but I don't use it. Um, probably I'm going to try and see if I can get the terminals for it. I can still keep it in case of emergency and I might need to use it. I might still use it. So yeah, that's about it. So the short answer to that question is if you are an electrician or someone within that field or that area of work, this is not for you. If you're a regular homeowner, yes, you can buy this cheap multimeter. And that was another video brought to you by Danice Electrical Services. For more videos like these, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, Danice Electrical Services. Also, the price for this multimeter is now $9.79. So it has increased by almost $2 since 2017. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think about this multimeter.